In many applications, we need to repeat a set of commands multiple times. For example, these commands compute a sequence of values in which the next value depends on the previous value according to this formula. The end result of these commands is a vector of seven elements. A more efficient way of achieving this result is to use a programming construct called a for loop. A for loop allows repeated execution of a particular set of commands for a fixed number of times. For example, this code uses a for loop to compute the same vector as the set of commands on the right. Let's examine the for loop more closely. The for loop starts with the keyword for, followed by the syntax for defining a vector. This syntax creates a variable called a loop variable or iteration variable that takes on values in the vector one by one. The for loop terminates with the keyword end. The set of commands between the start and end of the for loop is called the body of the for loop. Typically, these commands depend on the value of the loop variable. In this example, we use the loop variable to index into the vector y. When this for loop is first executed, the value of the loop variable n is 1. In every successive iteration, the value of the loop variable is automatically incremented by 1, and the commands in the body are executed again. When the loop variable n takes on the last value in the vector, the body of the for loop is executed one last time and the for loop is terminated. 